Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. A special type of thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? Y'all gotta understand one thing about me. Sometimes topics come to me just... I say when I first wake up in the morning, because people who follow me know I be posting early. Just, that's because I wake up early. And shoot, that's the best time. Like, your mind is clear. You done had a good night's sleep. And things just come to you. Things pop in my head and stuff. You know? Man. And I thought about... I really thought about, like... Y'all ever see those women out there... And they not the uh, they not the quote unquote diva type, right? Or dime. They ain't, you ain't gonna think about them like that. At best, at best, they might be an adjustable seven, or probably an adjustable six or something. Like you could walk around in public and hold their hand. They got decent bodies, but they might not be that fly. You know, they might not wear those like three inch pumps, but maybe sensible heels. They might be a little nerdy. Where head wraps, you know, got the glasses on, big glasses at that. And you know what, they kind of cool to deal with, right? Like a lot of guys who get to know them, they get to deal with them. Yeah, some women, let me qualify that, some women like that? I just straight up thought. <laughs> you just don't realize it though. Because, uh, well, like I said, they, not, they don't look like the typical thought. And plus, they kind of different from, like, uh, you know, the stereotypical, the regular thought, you know, the one that people know and see on some of these video sites or on uh, certain TV shows I had a little uh, problem with the other day, you know, talk shows where they take paternity tests. Nah, this is a different type of thought, you know. It ain't going to be the one who's, like, very physically attractive and, you know, looks cold-blooded. And in fact, it's hard to tell if they had thought of that because one thing, they tend to be smart enough to use birth control. Nah, it's, it's those like nerdy type of women who, some, some nerdy type of women who, they be getting down. Because I thought about several in my life, I, I was like, wait a minute. And it, how, I, how I even got to that, well... Y'all notice I don't really talk publicly about how I roll, so let's just add an interesting experience with uh, an old friend uh, recently. We'll we'll let it go at that. Like when I get real tight, I don't I don't put the shit out there if y'all notice, right? But yeah, you know, y'all can read between the lines. And you know when you you think about these type of women, you are just like, damn, I didn't know she got down like that. You know. Like, I knew one woman, right? I will put this one's business out. I knew one woman, right? And uh, just to be clear, this this woman wasn't uh, a black woman. This this whole special type of thought thing goes across racist, right? But anyway, right? This woman had had, on several occasions, had sex with, uh, you know, three different men in, a, in like... Uh, in a certain alley, right? And I knew her anyway for years because basically, uh, well, I shouldn't say she was easy, but the word no wasn't prominent in her in her vocabulary. And I'm not even sure she could spell the word no. And it was like, she if you say, can you say the word no, she might have some real issues. That's how easy she was, right? And it was a kind of a funny story with that because, well, she ain't going to come on anywhere and try to say anything because she'll be embarrassed. But she got pregnant by one of three guys and then came to Ron to come save her, to clean up. And I was like, because she said she didn't want to, she thought, you know, she had a child and if it was a boy, she didn't want it to be a fag. That's how she said it too. She didn't want it to be a fag. So she needed a strong male figure. Couldn't do it though, y'all. Just to let y'all know, I, I I couldn't do it, cause I was like, sweetie, I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. Use a hoe. I'd be out the door at nine o'clock. Some other dude being at nine fifteen. But <laughs> yeah, I, I know. 
yeah, that actually happened, yeah. But the thing with her though, if you saw her, if you saw her, she looked like one of those innocent type of women who would get with a nerdy guy and be cool for life with him. Which brings me up to another point about those special type of thoughts. See, we always talk about like select, non-select, alpha, beta, uh, 80-20 rule and stuff. Well, using that 80-20 rule as an example, sometimes we don't think about the other 20%. A lot of those women will get with a regular dude. See, that's the thing with that special type of thought. She gonna be a freak, but she gonna be a freak for a regular dude. Like, you ever see some of those dudes, they, they be getting that woman and they be like, you know, not that stereotypical hunk. You know, they, they just a regular dude. They, you know, you think they're cool and everything. Till you find out that woman is, uh, she sharing it with other regular dudes too. That's why I call them a special type of thought. Like, I've known several in my life and you look at the guys, they don't necessarily go for the Mr. Good Bar. They don't. They, don't, they ain't gonna kick them. They ain't gonna turn them down. But shoot, those are the ones who make the ordinary cats feel special. The regular guys. And like I said, these women go across the races and whatnot. And a lot of times they they'll hook up with that uh that nice guy and be cool with rock his world. It's just a case of you know that regular guy. He might want to really brace himself if he go back to her old hometown or something. He'll find out some things. And, you know, it's not that these women are bad or anything like that. Like I said, you usually it's hard to really spot the signs of them because there's no real signs. They look normal on the surface. Even nerdy. Shoot. They might go in there and play a video game with you or, shoot, you take her to the comic book store or something and, shoot, they they going through some stuff picking it out. You know, they ain't going to have a bunch of tats. They, don't, they ain't going to look ratchet. They ain't going to have a bunch of tats. And like I said, they might have, a, might have had about 40 or 50 partners, but they were smart enough to, like, also have either condoms or birth control. That's one thing I'm going to give them. They thoughts, but they, you know, they kind of thoughts who are trying to do something with their lives anyway. They just want to be sexually liberated. But, and, you know, they ain't trying to drop any babies without a ring on their finger. You know, they, they'll throw away the uh, birth control if somebody put a ring on their finger. And especially if that's someone that's kind of forgiving of their past. But I'm going to tell you what. There's a lot of those women, good or bad, you know, it depends on one. How open you are about the sexuality and stuff. You know, if you want some virgin or something, you might not get it with them. Only thing you unite, but at the same time, they, another interesting thing is, you ain't going to get a lot of negative shit with them either. You know, or a lot of drama. They cool. They actually good wifey types. If you can get past their past. And that's all I'm saying. If you can get past their past, but... Usually, the, if they got any baggage, it's not going to be obvious. They, like I said, they typically not going to have a kid. They ain't going to have any signs of rashesness. You can take them to your local church, temple, whatever. Shoot. You can take them around your boys. I play some dominoes or some spades. You can take them around the mom and, you know, if the mom, you know, was a little bit sheltered, might they say she's good. If the mom got some street in her, they might be like, uh, baby, I, I need to tell you something about your girl. <laughs> She's still nice, though, but I still need to tell you something. But that, that's a, I was thinking, there's a lot of them out there like that. Now, if I was going to give y'all the dark side of the game, I would say check for those women. Because like I said, they typically not like dimes or divas or whatnot, but. Dimes are rare any damn way, and but they will get. They do got some tight stuff with them, and you know they they know their way around a bedroom. And surprisingly, there's a whole lot of them. And you know, and I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I hate to have to be the one to tell you, but a lot of y'all guys married one. Y'all just because you don't see the baggage don't mean it. Like I said, for whatever reason. Well, here's a, here's a reason. I, I give you a reason why it's typically less damage. For whatever reason, they don't mess with thugs too much or bad boys or losers. 
Seriously. And y'all probably seen one, if y'all went to college or something, y'all probably seen some around a college campus. You know, they mess with the studious dudes, the dudes who are normally non-select. And they're good with it. Shoot, I, I got some popping in my head now. <laughs> Seriously, they they good with it. They, you know, they, like I said, they still, they, they checking out Mr. Goodbar. They think he cute, but they realistic. They like, well, you know, I don't know if I can get him. Let me get this guy over here. He cute enough, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they good. That, you know, another thing I give it, that, that's one thing I got to give to a special type, those special type of thoughts, right? Yeah, I know. Yes, I am. Damn, Ron, you kind of crazy, but it's true though. If they with a the guy, they sincerely with them. No, that, that, no joke. No joke. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, they've been with 40 or 50 or whatever number they've been with. But you ain't going to catch. But typically, if they with a the guy, at least for that moment, they good. Believe it or not, they good. And like I said, there's a lot of women out there like that. There's a lot of women out there like that. Like I said, they in that they in that six seven range typically, you know, smart enough not to get pregnant, smart enough not to look too hoochie, and actually pretty actually they actually cool they actually cool that's how and really that's a way how they get men because they the type of woman like if y'all fellas y'all think about it you get those women who got a lot of male friends and you know they tend to be in more in agreement with men's issues you can hang out with them you feeling them. A lot of times, that's how they get over. Because they don't take much. You, they chilling with the friend and stuff. And, you know, all of a sudden, she just lay her head on his uh, on his shoulder and be like, you know, I always thought you were cute. And all of a sudden, her mouth is around your, uh, around your joint. Ask me how I know. So, anyway... Just something to think about. I, I know y'all probably like, dang, Ron, I ain't be seeing all this shit. Dude, I, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm going to share this real quick about me. I got a weird thing with me. I could I could go and just see something and just remember some woman I dated or something like that. And it, It's been a whole lot. Been through a whole lot of shit. And I've probably been, like, as far as many women I've probably hooked up with or did whatever with been rejected by just as many so i've seen all sides of it okay so anyway that special type of thought yeah a lot of y'all with one of them one of them now like i said for whatever reason they either keep their uh they tend to accumulate very little damage i mean baggage uh despite their uh count I don't know, maybe they be doing those kegels or something and keep that shit tight. I don't know. But whatever the reason. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, they going they actually end up winning. That's the only type of thought who probably wins. Honestly. Yeah, I know I was gonna end this, but seriously, that's the one type. If she if she's smart, and I've seen a lot of women do it, if she's smart and she managed to avoid where she did most of her damage at as far as uh dicks inside of her. they usually went those are the ones that actually went out in the end but you might you know she might be reluctant to go back to certain places so it is what it is anyway that's it for today i'll talk to y'all later peace